welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video. I did three DIY Tumblr inspired summer clothes. I'm super excited. They turned out really good. I did DIY pom pom shorts, watercolor shoes, and like a beach or pool cover up and they turned out super cute. This is also a collab with my friend Anna Fox on YouTube. She did her video on what to do in the summer when you are bored so you should definitely go check that out. I'll also have her channel in the down bar below along with her video. I don't want to make this intro super long, so let's go get started with the video. Starting off with my DIY t-shirt cover-up, I went to Michael's and I picked up a white shirt, and I also picked up a tie-dye kit there. It was really inexpensive. The tie-dye kit was $9.99, but I did use a coupon, which I love going to those stores because you can use a coupon. But I did get the turquoise and blue and green tie-dye kit, so right now I'm just tie-dyeing my shirt, and I made it into the swirl pattern. I got my shirt in the size medium, so it would be a little bit longer, but I kind of wish I would have gotten it a large, so it would have been longer. After you tie-dye your shirt, I would just read the instructions on your tie-dye kit because mine said to let my shirt sit for 24 hours. So I put it in a bag and I just let it sit, and then now I'm going to show you how I cut the shirt. So I just went ahead and cut off the sleeves, and then you're going to fold it in half and cut an oval shape in the back. So it will look like there's like a hole in the middle. So you're going to lay it out flat and you're going to cut in the middle and then the two top of the sleeves off. The next step is going to just twist it. I think I twisted mine three times fully around. So you get this nice little open back look and it's super cute and it's really easy to do. After you twist it around a few times, I just took my hot glue gun and I hot glued the spots where we cut so it will be nice and secure. I didn't want to use like fabric glue or anything because I don't think fabric glue works as strong as hot glue, so I just chose to do hot glue and I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be easy with it. I mean it's just a pool cover up, so I just kind of stretched out a little bit and that's how it turned out. And I really like the way this looks. I like the open back and I think it's super cute and really easy to make. So So now I'm gonna show you how to do these DIY pom-pom shorts. I've always wanted a pair of pom-pom shorts and I see them all over Pinterest and Tumblr and I can never find them in stores. So I found these at Forever 21 and I thought they'd be super cute to add pom-poms in the bottom. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up this pom-pom garland and it was super cheap. And I'm just hot gluing them to the bottom of the shorts. And this is so easy and it didn't take much time at all. And I love the way these turned out and I'm going to be wearing these like a whole bunch and I'm actually going to like pom-pom a whole bunch more shorts because they're so cute. Next, I'm going to show you how to make these awesome DIY watercolor shoes. I went to Michael's and I picked up the shoes and the watercolor paint, and they're both really inexpensive. And the first step that I did with this is I painted the shoes with just water, and this really helps with making the paint like spread. And I really like the watercolored look. It actually turned out really cute, and I didn't think they were going to look this cute. So I kind of did like an ombre with the yellow and then orange and pink. After these shoes dried for a few hours, the colors kind of like blended together and they looked really nice. So for this shoe, I'm just repeating the same thing, just painting with water and then do the same colors. Obviously, you don't want two color different shoes. So just repeat the steps and let them dry for a few hours and then you have these really cool, awesome shoes and everyone's going to be like, where'd you get those? And be like, I made those, girl. And they'll be like, what? Alrighty, that is my three DIY Tumblr inspired clothes for summer. I hope you guys like this video and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!